Last Dance with Healy's on the north side. It is one of the many videos that has gotten Mr. Helia Girl a whole lot of attention on TikTok. He is up to nearly 90,000 followers on the platform, and his videos have been seen millions of times. And it's all happened in just a few months. So the man in the Heelys, those are shoes with little wheels in their heels, is Pittsburgher Connor Clyde. And I saw his videos today, and I needed to find more about his summer of viral videos. So I asked Connor to come on to the 7.30 tonight. And here he is, miraculously joining us. Connor, thanks so much for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much for wearing this lovely ensemble. I wear it all day, every day, so it's not a big deal. To your job as a financial analyst, right? Yep, yeah, my boss loves it, so. So where did you learn these <laughs> epic moves? I think it's just something you're born with, Megan. You know, I think uh, I, you know, I felt it when I was young. I was on Healy's, uh, you know, at six months. And then right from there, I, I knew that I was born for stardom. So, you know, they, it's something I do all my own stunts, all my own choreography. Uh, you know, it's something right here, right in the heart. So <laughs> just comes from the gut. How did you learn to pair, you know, with such great taste, the 80s classics and these wonderful Pittsburgh landmarks? Oh, man. Well, one, I feel like those two just go together perfectly. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, the city's made for it. But the music, I've got to, you know, give the kudos to my mom. So she uh, forced, it, forced me to listen to it when I was a kid. And, uh, you know, I, I try to dabble in the 80s and 90s. I try to keep them both, mm -hmm. uh, both up there. So, but no, I, I, I think the, the wardrobe and then you combine that with the music and you can't go wrong. I feel like anybody could be famous. They're so funny, and obviously you can't watch them without laughing. But on a serious note, what do you hope to accomplish with these videos around Pittsburgh? I mean, for me, I just know that this world has been crazy right now. I, I, you know, I feel like a lot of people are facing a lot of dark times, a lot of tough times. And, and for me, a uh, passion of mine has always been able or to make people laugh, uh, to make them smile, to make them forget about, you know, maybe a hardship that's right in front of them. And so for me... I'm just going to keep doing it as long as people will watch. You know, when I first started this, I thought it'd be, you know, maybe two of my best friends <laughs> watching the video. Uh, but, you know, it's grown a little bit bigger than that. So, Who in the world is behind the camera and how does he or she keep a straight face? <laughs> oh, that's my wife. Uh, she's awesome. She, uh, she does not keep a straight face, just for clarity. Half the time, you know, we try to film these in chunks. So we'll do maybe a couple, two, three videos at a time. And by the end of it, she definitely wants to kill me. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's uh, less, you know, we have the time to do more, but it's more, you know, we, we both mutually decide it might be time to take a break. So it's <laughs> awesome. She's so amazing, though. She, uh, she'll be the first to say that some of the best moves that I've done have been her idea. So she will absolutely tell that to the world. So Pittsburghers that are watching these TikTok videos and love you probably want to get involved in your next viral masterpiece. Is there a way for them to do that? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. There's a there's a hundred percent a way. I've been trying to think of how to get people involved, and uh, I wanted to tell people all about this weekend. So this Saturday at the point. Uh, we're going to be filming our next big video. So I'm thinking millions of views, and I'm trying to call on all of the Yinzers, all of my fellow Yinzers. We need them to come out 10 a.m. at the point, and we're just going to film one of the greatest videos of all time. I don't want to give too much away, but I can tell you that it is going to be a heater. A heater. I was going to ask, did you pick the song yet? But maybe you don't want to reveal that. Hey, I'll tell it. I'll tell it live on air right now. We picked the song. It's going to be You're the Voice by John Farnham, and it is going to be glorious. I like your energy. Keep it up <laughs> because, you know, being a financial analyst can only be so exciting, right? So you have to keep it, keep it interesting. Yeah. Oh, you have to, right? Numbers don't change. So, you know, I try to change my clothes as much as I can because they don't. <laughs> well, thank you, Connor, so much for your time. You're a lot of fun, so we really appreciate it, and we look forward to many more of your videos. And again, Saturday, what time? Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Fountain, baby. 10 a.m. at the Fountain, baby, quote. All right, thanks so much, <laughs> Connor. Have a good night. Thank you.